So in this video, I'm gonna walk through the dynamic resize of a VHDX virtual hard drive that's connected to the SCSI bus. So to demonstrate this, all I have is a basic virtual machine. I have a Win8 and it's non-domain joined. If I look at the settings, I have a single disk connected to the SCSI controller. So there is a requirement. It has to be VHDX and it has to be connected to the SCSI controller. It cannot be VHD. It cannot be connected to the IDE controller. So right now, this is a 60 gigabyte disk and inside the operating system, I can see a 60 gig disk. Now, without turning this virtual machine off, I can actually go in, for example, into edit disk. I can select the disk I want to modify. So I'll select its drive. And I can say I want to expand that drive. And let's say I'll make it 80 gigabytes and finish. So this is now extending that VHDX file. And what I'll now see within the operating system is now there's an unallocated space. And I would then have to use that, either creating a new volume or for example, extending this existing volume. So if I say extend, and maybe I'll just extend it out to some of it. So take half of it. Now if I want to shrink a volume, I can once again go back into that edit disk, select the same disk again, And this time notice it's giving me a shrink option. The reason it's giving me the shrink option is it quickly looked at the disk and it could actually see, well, look, there's some allocated space. I can only shrink a disk down to the amount of unallocated space that's available. So this time it's saying, well, yeah, you could shrink it or you could grow it. And the most you can shrink it to is down to 70 gigabytes because it's an 80 gig drive and there's 10 gigs spare. So then shrink it down, it would make it disappear. I can look at that information through PowerShell. So I can actually do a git VHD. And one of the things it will actually show me is that minimum size. So it's actually going to show me what I can shrink it by. It also shows me what it currently is configured as. And that maybe this is in bytes. Whereas we normally we're talking gigabyte, so the numbers look a little bit differently. I can see the amount of disk it's actually using. From here, I could also shrink it. So notice I can do a resize and just, I can specify bytes. I could actually say size bytes to give it a specific size. Or I can say, well look, shrink it as much as you possibly can. So I run that command. And then if I jump back inside the operating system, once it refreshes, there we go. And now you can see it's gone. If I wanted to shrink it further, I would have to first make more space unallocated. So I'd have to go in, say to shrink the actual volume, it's checking how much I can shrink this volume by. So I say, well look, let's just try and shrink it by 20 gigs. So now I'll see there should be another 20 gigs unallocated. And then I could go back, and if I do my get again, Notice it's now saying, well, now this is the minimum size. So I could shrink it again. Move that down. And once again, when I go inside the OS, once this refreshes, it's now gone. So it's dynamic resize. Very, very easy to use. PowerShell, or I can use Hyper-V Manager Edit Disk. And that's really all there is to it. So this completes this video.